So this is the Inspur rack. Uh, we just launched the San Jose motherboard, and uh, uh, we happen to have the rack here, so I'll give you a quick demo of uh, open rack. So in this configuration, we actually have a couple of different power shelves. Here's a power shelf here, and there's another one down here. The nice thing about this power shelf is that you actually have the ability to have uh, an A feed and a B feed coming from the utility. So again, on for resiliency, you bring in two different utility feeds. In this case, you have one, two, and three. Each of those, each power rectifier would, would feed off of one, um, one phase coming in from the utility. Um, over here, you got your B feed coming in phase one, two, and three as well. All that's rectified, puts onto the uh, 12 volt DC bus bar. You have perfect phase balance. So you're not paying the utility for unbalanced power and you still have resiliency across your utility and you have resiliency across the phases. This is a, uh, a, a three unit, uh, three wide uh, compute sled, follows the OCP standards. Um, the nice thing about this is that these compute sleds are very easy to service. It's simply uh, the green represents touch points. It's a toolless design. I'm going to pick this up, lift that up, and this is going to slide directly out. Again, everything that's green represents a touch point. If I wanted to pull this assembly off, I could simply lift these two handles, and it would come off. I could slide this top cover off uh, to get to get that open. The, uh, as I slide this back in, it's going to mate to the 12 volt supply in the back of the system. There's a 12 volt soft start built into this sled so that it allows me to hot plug directly in and it powers on. All of the front connectivity would come out the front. We don't have cables on this particular demo, but here's an example of the OCP mezzanine card. Um, this provides a couple of, I think this is probably a couple of 10 gig uh, ethernet, uh, optical ethernet uh, uh, devices. Um, I could plug my Ethernet uh, optical transceiver into here, and then route that to a top or rack switch, uh, for example, up on the top, or I could route it to another device or, or potentially route it to a storage uh, solution if there was one in this system. Again, green represents the touch points. Lift that up to slide it back in, simply locks back in. In the rack, we have this, uh, this area on the side here, which is the uh, for cable management, so we try to keep all the cables tucked into the side and uh, out of the way So it's again easy to get these modules in and out and then actually this entire chassis comes in and out There's no screws. There's no rail kit. We simply pull this tab pull this tab These are the locking mechanisms pull this out and this entire chassis would slide out on the back side there's no, sir, no no reason for a technician to go on the back side. Uh, simply a 12 volt bus bar back there. Everything plugs directly into it. So, great example of open rack. This explains why it is so easy to deploy and use and upgrade. Good job, Innsbruck.